Welcome to the 13th International Symposium on Combinatorial Search. My name is Daniel Harabor, and together with my colleague Mara Valati will be your co-hosts for this edition of SOX. So, as you might have noticed, we're not in Vienna. That's right. This year we've taken the entirety of the technical program and we've moved it onto the internet. If you don't think that's exciting, just consider for the first time ever, you don't have to miss a moment of SOX. Best of all, if there's a particular talk or a session that you really like, you can listen to it again and again and again. You can share it with your colleagues, with your friends, with your family, with mom and dad. How cool is that? All right, let's get started. Mara, why don't you tell us about the state of the conference? Yep. So uh, let's talk about uh, submissions. So we got uh, 56 abstracts uh, which were submitted. Uh, which were then converted into 45 uh, submissions that have been reviewed by the program committee. Out of those 45, 34, 34 were original submissions and 27 were accepted in the end. Uh, so this gives us the total acceptance rate of 41%. And uh, with regards to the reviews, most of the original submissions had three, and in some cases, even more reviews uh, when there were some concerns uh, between the reviewers a very small number and only two. All right, so before we tell you more about the conference, let's have some celebrations. So this year we have two awards. We have a best paper award and an honorable mention. The honorable mention goes to Decision Tree Learning Inspired Dynamic Variable Ordering for the weighted CSP um, by Hong Su, Kexwan San, Sven Koenig and Satish Kumar. And the best paper award this year goes to an atom centric perspective on stubborn sets uh, it comes from Gabriel, Roger, Malte Helmet, Yendrik Seip, and Sylvan Sievers. Apologies for my pronunciation. Um, please look forward to a special awards session where we will celebrate these two papers in more detail. Mara. And of course, congratulations, guys. Congratulations, of course. And uh, what is the geographical location of the SOX community, or at least of a part of the SOX community which took part uh, in, uh, in this conference? Uh, with regards to, well, the figures for uh, authors of all submissions and for members of APC are very similar. So we have a very strong presence on Europe. And uh, this is very likely because originally uh, SOX was planned to be in, uh, in Europe, uh, which is followed by a large component, a large chunk from North America, then Asia, Australasia, and South America. A very good distribution overall. And we also have some information about the submitted uh, papers, and you can find decimals in there uh, because uh, they are calculated as the proportional contribution of each author uh, to the submitted papers. And also in terms of submitted paper, you can see that basically Europe is leading the way, but North America is following pretty close. So one of the things that I think makes our community really special is how seriously people take their reviewing duties. And this year, the reviewing period um, happened to fall in a very, very challenging uh, time. And so we want to thank all of our program committee members. Thank you for your, for your time. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your very hard work. Um, without you, this symposium would not be a success. And it's also worth mentioning that uh, SOX this year is co-located, uh, not geographically, not physically, uh, with CPIOR. And this led to a number of activity and to the special theme of the conference. So the special theme was basically between on the connections between uh, these two communities and the overlap between these two communities that of course are similar but are not exactly the same. And in terms of the activities which were driven by this co-location with CPIOR, uh, we, have, uh, we have a joint keynote, which is Peter Stucky, which represents uh, an excellent example of this overlap between the communities. And we also borrowed from the CPIOR guys the masterclass. So masterclass is a single day, uh, a one day event, uh, where a range, a number of different experts in different sub areas uh, of uh, combinatorial search are presenting recent results and overview of their specific fields. So this is a very good uh, as a opportunity for students or for people which are working in neighboring areas uh, to get a better understanding and to, to be updated on what is going on uh, in the specific areas that will be covered. Uh, mentioning CPIOR, uh, I believe that many of you are now aware that CPIOR has been moved and postponed to October, uh, while we as SOX decided 
to keep it online uh, at the same time in order to provide uh, timely let's say, information and to deliver the talks related to the conference as soon as possible so that we can all be uh, updated uh, about the most recent uh, uh, results in the field. All right, so let's have a brief look at the program for this year's SOX. So the most noticeable difference compared to past editions of SOX is that this year we have three full days of SOX. Um, the entirety of the first day is dedicated to our masterclass sessions. Um, please take the time to um, enjoy those. We've organized a, a very strong program of um, very knowledgeable experts to tell us about recent um, and interesting directions um, from uh, a variety of topics in combinatorial and uh, discrete optimization, um, in combinatorial search and in discrete optimization. Um, in terms of the remaining two days, they're more of a traditional um, format. So uh, each day we have a keynote. The first um, opening keynote will be from Rena Dector on day two. And then we have three wonderful se um, sessions, two on search, one on applications. The third day, we have a keynote from Peter Stuckey. This is the joint CPAOR activity. For that day, we've got two wonderful sessions on MAPF and AI planning. Um, I particularly want to highlight as well on day three, um, we have the award ceremony for the two best papers that we will celebrate and we will have right at the end of the program, the community meeting. Please take the time to come to the community meeting. SOX is um, very much a community conference. We want to hear from you. And you may be wondering how you can participate since this conference is online and you can't be very present. Now, there are uh, a range of tools and means that we've put together that we believe will support different kind of interaction, different flavors of interaction. Well, first of all, uh, all the talks and all the sessions will be streamed on YouTube and they will be streamed starting at the scheduled time that you can find in the program. And the program is available on the SOX website and on the SOX forum. Now, the SOX forum uh, works as an asynchronous way uh, for communicating and for participating. And first of all, try to register to the SOX forum because a lot of information will be released only there. For instance, how to get to the community meeting. And uh, it's structured in uh, three main threads. So one for announcements, which should be quite self-explanatory. Uh, one for the schedule, which is report the detailed program and one thread per session where you can discuss between attendees and uh, with uh, uh, presenters or with authors uh, the papers which are being presented. And, and then there is a session about uh, general discussion in which uh, you can find, for instance, uh, instruction on how to join into Discord, uh, or uh, uh, you can suggest topics that you want to be discussed during the community meeting, and so on and so forth. So this forum is for some sort of a synchronous, time relaxed, let's say, uh, interaction. Uh, and then there is Discord, where Discord is uh, Let's say we can draw some sort of comparison with Slack. So you, you can set up, and you will find that we have set up a number of channels where you can communicate via text, so by writing, uh, with other attendees and presenters and all those in a synchronous time, so in real time. And you can also set up some audio and video channels where you can discuss face to face uh, as much as possible. We have asked all the presenters and all the authors to be on Discord when their session is being streamed. So during the session where their talk is being streamed and afterward. So you can expect to find them there during this time and hopefully for all the duration of the conference. So be there, be on Discord, try to communicate, try to engage between each other because that will be the core of the fun and of the lively part of a conference. The SOX forum is something, as we said, a bit slower for finding information and for more relaxed. Uh, discussion. Try to register to the forum account as soon as possible if you haven't done that already. So that's it from us. Um, let me stress once again, please do register for the forum. It's our community hub. Um, and uh, please remember that um, you don't have to miss a single session of SOX. All of our sessions are streaming. You can watch them at any time, whenever is convenient for you. So please enjoy the symposium.